So MVT stands for non-destructive testing, which I mean, weirdly is a little bit unknown, but there's not an industry that doesn't do MVT testing. It can be used to check it materials that are used in construction to make sure they can withstand forces and not got any defects in that are going to cause that material to fatigue and break over time. So for a bridge, that's really important. Um, parts for aeroplanes, you don't want an aeroplane flying around which has got material which is substandard and can cause that to fail, um, which can be quite catastrophic. Rail, even some things in food industry are using non-destruct testing to check that the equipment is picking up metallic parts within the process so you don't get metallic or glass or something in your Weetabix. So it's not just me who's part of this company. As K2 set it up with me nearly three years ago and her input has been outstanding. The support has been incredible. Without her, I don't think we would ever have been where we are. So we're doing this three years. So 2019, um, joined a company called NDT um, as a general manager. So it was more the people side of things, customer side of things, um, organisation, all that sort of stuff. Um, Jan Dan then joined um, about six months later um, and we just got on really well. You could just tell he's just quite an organised person. We just identified a bit of a gap in the market, basically. It was kind of slow deliveries, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, we just saw the opportunity to maybe start and do it ourselves. So this has a, a 1.5 mil hole in, which to us is, that's quite a large hole. We're going down to 0.2 of a mil, so 0.34 into not just aluminium or soft materials like that. We've done 0.2 into 17.4 pH. So quite hard still, two mil deep. And then even then using the serotisic blue line, the micro tools to flat bottom these which then we have had sent out to be CT scanned to confirm that they're flat because you can't really see inside of a point two hole there's not really a way of inspecting it so the micro range from Ceratisic has been phenomenal and gives a real good confidence that when we've got a free issue bit of material from a customer it requires a point eight hole in we've only got one chance we know that this point eight tools will be able to do it so we use serotisic vice hold, work holding on both, both mills for the reason is it's very good, but we have a three pot central, centralized in plate in there so we can take vices in and out with ease. We're not having to continuously set datums or align vices because they just flop in place and they're aligned. And it makes it quite more streamlined for changing and also using the same work holding between machines, you're not actually gonna have a vice that's not modeled up correctly because you wanna be doing your collision checks on stuff, that it's all the same from one machine to the other. And it means that transitioning from one to the other is easy. With Ceratisic, the supply chain is so good with them that we have one of their vending machines um, so that we, if, we need a tool, we can get it straight away, but it's also when it's a, an exotic material and we've not got one in the vending machine and we've got one that's a bit used, that we know we can get it next day. I mean, I've even had them, they've delivered a tool from Sheffield same day before for us. So that's where you're only as good as your supply chain and their supply chain is so good that we're never really without. We use all their turning inserts, the work, the turning holders, their eco cuts are brilliant. I love their eco cuts. They just don't need to drill it, just send an eco cut in and then carry on boring the hole out. Um, all their tooling fits what we need.